Hello and welcome to Doing Just DVD and today it is time for the 16th biannual r slash DVD collection gift exchange. It's hard to believe we've done so many, it doesn't seem that long ago that I joined Reddit in the first place, but it's obviously been quite a number of years at this point. I have packages here from user electricwizard666 and today's video is actually going to be a double extravaganza because this is actually the second time I've been matched with Electric Wizard, but for a few reasons I never actually finished and published a video for the 14th gift exchange. I'll get into the details of that in a bit, but getting rematched with them seemed like the perfect opportunity to finally get around to using that footage. As usual, if you want to catch up on any of my previous gift exchange videos, there's a link down in the doobly doo to a playlist. But for now, let's get into the current gifts. The two packages. I guess I'll start with the little one. if I can get into them without scissors. And first we have... It Follows. A lovely bit of horror that was something a bit different. I thoroughly enjoyed this when I first saw it and I'm very glad to have it in my collection. It also appears to have a reversible cover. Very nice. And moving on, we have a bigger box, and the question is always, is this a box set or is this multiple single ones? I guess we will find out shortly. Reaching in, it appears to be single ones, so we'll go one at a time without logging, and first we have Looper. Anything time travel is, is probably one of my favourite genres of film, so uh, it's about time I had this one in my collection. Lovely, can't wait to watch that again. Then next out of the box comes Robocop. Robocop Trilogy, in fact. This is one that obviously I've been wanted meaning to add to my collection for years. But always was always waiting, waiting for a, a nice set or a nice edition or something. And there was never one that there was never one that seemed to completely fit the bill. There's, there was probably some rights issues or something, but Robo Robocop 2 and 3 never quite got the same treatment as the first one. And I saw some reviews mentioning poor Blu-ray transfers on on some versions. I actually don't entirely remember what the situation is with this one, but it's about time I had a copy of all three. And I imagine they will do. I presume there are three discs in here. Yes, there are. Along with a few nice special features, including some new stuff from 2012. We'll be good to watch these again. It's been a while. Right, what else do we have? Next there is... The Fly. This is another one that I've always wanted in my collection, but could never quite settle on which edition to buy because there are there are always multiple ones. I've had it on my wish list in DVD formats and box sets and all sorts of different ones with the Fly 2 or the original one. But eventually, I seem to settle on just getting individual releases when they came to Blu-ray. I'm not sure whether I actually need the Fly 2 in my collection, apart from being me being a bit of a completionist sometimes. Because obviously this is the best one to have. Can't beat your classic Jeff Goldblum. Excellent. And then finally we have, ah, Green Inferno. The director's cut, apparently. Although I don't know what version I saw originally. It was on Netflix, I think, so probably not a director's cut, but you never know. Can't beat a bit of it, Eli Roth horror, to be honest. I know some people said this was like one of the most disturbing horrors ever, but that's not the feeling I got from it. But then again, I don't get that feeling from many horror films at all. You see these lists of the most disturbing horror films are all, of all time, and this gets on some of them. And I, but I always think, eh, this doesn't seem to be anything that can make me squeamish, and a bit of cannibalism certainly isn't going to do it. And an excellent addition to my collection. So now let's flash back to a year ago and the 14th gift exchange. Everything started out normally, but then it got a bit confusing. Over to you, Past Dune. 
today there are packages and that means it is time for the 14th biannual r slash dvds collection gift exchange this time around i have gifts from electric wizard 666 first i have to make a small confession as like this big parcel i have already peeked into I ended up getting a bunch of parcels on the same day and wasn't entirely sure which was which for what thing. I probably should have just asked, but this one didn't really look like DVDs. It had a handwritten label, it was an odd shape, and it felt more like a birthday present than it did a gift exchange thing. But I wasn't entirely sure, so I figured I would like feel inside and see what was in there. But only then realised that it's a it's another box that's exactly the same size of this box. So I had a quick peek and I realised it's actually a DVD box set. So I already know what's in here and it's not one I ever expected to get in the gift exchange. My wish list contains hundreds of things that I could ever want and I use it for multiple purposes. So I generally don't expect the larger items to turn up in a gift exchange, but this time it has done. And what we have in here is... The Complete Mad Men Collection. 92 episodes, 7 seasons, 23 discs, 80 hours of special features, 24 page episode guide, beautiful hardback 20 page book, various other bits and pieces, so let's have a look inside shall we? So it appears... Oh. The back is just a bit of paper with those little glue spots on. And so without that front and back are basically the same. Inside, oh it, it, it's like a giant book format, that's nice. And so we've got various pictures from the series. Oh no. It would appear that the discs come in at the top. So the whole thing's a like lovely hardback book with the discs in the top of the page. This is really nice. And then at the back there's a pouch which presumably has extra things in. It's hard to hold this up and have a look. Let's, let's just hold some things up. There, there's a little episode guide booklet, which is presumably because the episodes aren't labelled in the, in the book itself. There's picture cards of major characters. And another one of everybody blueprints of the offices and layouts, multiple bits of Sterling Cooper letterheaded paper as well as ads and letters. So that is an amazing set, thank you very much. And not only that, that wasn't all I got sent so we still have two more things to open. Let's, there's only one in here I think so let's start with this one and see what we've got. In here we have Dogtooth, a very strange film, but I really enjoyed it when I watched it. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it's a strange film from the director that later on went to bring us The Lobster, which is probably the strangest film I've ever watched. And I really must get around to watching The Killing of Sacred Deer at some point, because I've enjoyed all the director's previous work, and I'm happy to have this one in my collection. On to the next package. a book. And so I'm now I'm slightly confused again as to whether I'm opening the right packages, although this has been on my wish list for ages as something I'd been meaning to read. So yeah, I'm now kind of confused because I was under the impression there was going to be four things and I've only currently got three. 
I'm feeling the package. I had presumed that this was a box containing two things, but it is in fact a book. So I am going to have to follow up and check on that, and we'll probably have to finish this video another day. And then after that I was suddenly really busy with travel and with work, and it took me quite a while to actually follow up on that. It turned out there was a package missing, and we arranged to get it resent by the seller, but then that never turned up again either. And again it took me quite a while to get around to mentioning that to anybody, and at that point it was just sensible to give it up as a loss. The gift of the Mad Men box set was already incredibly generous enough, and I've been basically meaning to turn that footage into some kind of video from the past for, well, since then but never quite got round to it. But thankfully being rematched again gave me the perfect reason to use that footage up. So thank you very much Electric Wizard 666 for some lovely Blu-rays this year and an excellent box set and other choices last year. Hopefully at some point in the future I can return the favour back to you. Everyone else, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.